Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Nicole from my Pandora Charmed Life, and today's video is going to be a what's on my bracelet video. I feel like I don't do enough of these, so I'm really excited to bring this one to you. Earlier this year, I bought Pandora's Fun and Love gift set, which included a bracelet, two clips, and a dangle, and I spent the majority of the year figuring out exactly how I wanted this bracelet to be designed, and I'm at a place where I absolutely love it. I usually name my bracelets, but this one doesn't necessarily have a name. It is very um, Presley inspired and my daughter inspired. So yeah, it's something to that effect. What I really love about this bracelet is the mix of really old charms with really new charms. That's always my favorite combination. I even have a non-Pandora charm on here. So stay tuned and take a look at what's on my Pandora bracelet. So here is the full view of my bracelet that again was inspired by the Fun and Love gift set that I had previously gotten and my love of being a mom and kind of dedicated to my daughter. So we will go one by one so I can show you all the charms that are on here. We'll start with the bracelet. A lot of you are already familiar with the Pandora Rose heart clasp. It is... Pandora Rose and on one side it has Pandora written in a circle and then on the other side is the Pandora logo. This one is a size 18. So um, standard gift sets come with the 19 or the 7.5 but often the stores will um, swap them out and do an exchange for the size of bracelet that you like so that's always really good. And then this bracelet is actually a mixture of some retired pieces, an Asian exclusive, then we have an Aurora charm on here as well. So this glass bead that you are looking at is long retired. This one is, I believe, called the Pink Flowers Murano. And this one you can see has like a really light pink glass. It's almost a blush colored glass. And then you have pink flowers on there with a tiny little yellow detail in the center of the flower. While this is retired, it was a recent pickup that I just got this year at um, DeSales, which is my favorite um, store in the Seattle area that sells Pandora. They don't sell their new stuff, but they still have some of their old things, so I like to go there to find some oldies but goodies. And then here I have the Dazzling um, Daisies clip. Just I'm using this as a charm because I have the, the sister charm of this um, on this end, kind of acting as a little safety chain, kind of, <laughs> minus the chain part. I really like these Daisy spacers. They have the clear CZs in them. Not spacers, clips. And then this one, I believe, is an Asian exclusive, and this one is called You Complete My Heart, and it has, in a heart shape, it's pink enamel with a puzzle, and then you have, like, a little missing puzzle piece on one side, and on the other side here, it says You Complete My Heart, and then you have the Pandora stamp on there as well. Part of the awesome thing about the Pandora community is we get to meet people all across the world who can help us get some of these, um, these like sought after charms, so yay. Some of this bracelet is symmetrical and some of it's not, so you're gonna see some duplicate charms on here. This one, you have the open your heart charms, just an open works heart charm with lots of little hearts in there. This one is just like an all-time favorite. I think it goes really good with really um, any bracelet that like has any kind of representation of love on it. This one happens to be about my daughter, but it could be about, you know, anything that you love, really. Okay, so this charm is long retired, and this was a charm that I have completely overlooked. It wasn't until Emily at Fashion Storyteller had gotten this on one of our trips to DeSales that I really took notice of it, and it really wasn't until she filmed it that I was like, oh my gosh, that is a gorgeous charm. Um, I didn't know what I would really do with it, but Presley's birthday is in February, so her birthstone is amethyst, and um, I felt like once 
I knew that this bracelet was coming to life. I knew that this would definitely have its purpose on this charm. It is two-toned, so this part is gold. Then you have the amethyst in there, and it is gorgeous. It was the last one that DeSales had, so it was like, I felt like it was perfect timing for me to get it. And then this bracelet part of the gift set did come with the shining path clips, so you will see those on here. And then these might be some of my favorite Muranos that Pandora has done recently. I love that this Murano has some texture to it, so you could see it's grooved, uh, fitting, the name is called Glittering Grooves Murano. This is also, if you can see in here, has a Pandora Rose core, so it is Pandora Rose, and then the purple like glittering in here, so gorgeous, and this is exactly what I knew the amethyst would really um, match with, and I think it's pretty. I don't know if you remember the, like, what is it called, the shimmering? glass Muranos that Pandora did. The purple ones are my favorite of that line and this reminds me of those too. But then again, now you have that glittering groot or the grooves on there, which is awesome. Then it's hard to not have the adorable little girl on a bracelet that reminds you of your precious little girl. So this is on here to remind me of my little Presley and I just love that she is holding on to a tiny little teddy bear with a heart on it. Um, Presley always has one of her stuffies with her. Um, we call them stuffies, <laughs> no matter what it is, but she just loves them and she likes to take them everywhere we go, and whether it's the movies or just driving somewhere or going to ice, go get ice cream, like she always has a stuffy with her and I think it's just so sweet and precious. So that's on here as well. This dangle is the one that came with the gift set and it was really, it's perfect. Um, I actually didn't know what it was called until I looked it up for this video. I was calling it the follow your heart charm because on the back you can see that it says follow your heart. Right there it's engraved with a tiny little heart cut out and then it's kind of two layered. So you have the Pandora rose part and then when you lift the Pandora rose part you have some soft pink enamel in there but this one is actually called the it's the pink heart labyrinth dangle charm and I think that's pretty interesting that that's what they call it but it's fitting because when you look at this it kind of looks like I don't know like a, a maze you have to follow something right like some sort of path with things that might get in your way but um yeah follow your heart um, pink heart labyrinth charm, either one. And then you have a tiny little CZ right there. I think it's a light pink CZ actually. This bead, while long retired, is also a fairly recent purchase that I had made at Dust Cells on one of my trips. And this one is called the Treasured Hearts Charm. I had actually forgotten about this one, or this was another one that was overlooked too. And then when we went live, it was Emily and I that went live, and it was um, Debbie from um, Pandora Hunting, or Hunting with Scuba Dude. Um, Debbie, she had talked about finding the locket to this, and we're like, what is that? So then we looked it up, then we saw it, and I was like, oh my gosh. I think I saw that at DeSales, well, the charm, not the dangle. I was like, I need to go back and get it. So I did pick up this. It's that gem in the middle is a rhodolite, and I think it matches, you know, the colors of the purple and the Pandora rose too, so it was perfect for this one. And then it's called Treasured Hearts. Like, how cute is that? Here we have the duplicates again, the Glittering Grooves Murano, along with the Shining Path Clip. And then I have on here the Shamrock Fairy from Aurora. So you have a little tiny fairy in there who is looking at a shamrock and hiding under shamrocks and she's just so precious. So I um, 
don't necessarily have like a fairy meaning with Presley, but we love fairies, we love unicorns, like all things magical are um, just kind of sum up like me and things that Presley and I love. So we have that here. Then we have another open your heart charm. The next dangle was a gift from my sister for Mother's Day. It's a little bit tangled here. And this is the uh, mother-daughter dangle. So it's a two-part. At some point, I might um, separate it and give it to Presley when she's a little bit older. But for now, these pieces get to stick together. And you see that little heart comes together at the bail. And then when you separate them, you have a silver dangly heart and a Pandora Rose dangly heart and the Pandora Rose dangly heart says like mother while the silver one says like daughter and she currently is like mother like daughter <laughs> we could um, we could not be more we could not be more similar and that comes with even all of my bad habits she totally um, has inherited <laughs> Sorry, Presley, but it'll do you well later. And then finishing off, we have the um, Rose with Pink Hearts Murano. And this glass is very similar to the um, this first glass bead that I had shown you. It's kind of that blush color, very pale pink, more on the blush side. And they just have pink hearts on there as well also retired and then here we have the dazzling daisies to close this off if you are new to following me or not really sure like how I secured my bracelets if I don't have a safety chain I try 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 to put a clip at the end if that works if not then I usually have like a um a threaded charm on there but for this one I just have the clips. There you have it. That is everything that is on my Pandora bracelet. And I am just really thrilled about this design. I think it has like the perfect amount of like pretty in it and fun. And being that it was a fun and love gift set, like it had to be like light and fun in my opinion. So um, let me know what you thought of my design. Do you have any of these charms on your bracelets? Uh, leave me a comment, just tell me hello or let me know what you thought of this bracelet. If you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. We would love to have you. And also, if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you all next time.